Hello YouTube, this is Stephanie, aka ED, Mihas to Sapapa, aka Tent to Row. And as you see, I am not in my element today. I am, um, I've moved my setup inside as the weather is not conducive for doing readings outside in a tent. It's too cold sometimes, it may be rainy, maybe too hot sometimes. The Texas, the Texas weather here is stupid, crazy, and unpredictable. But I'm here doing mid-month readings, currently on the sign of Scorpio. So, um, divine forces of unconditional love for the highest microcosm. What does the sign of Scorpio need to know for their highest good for the month, for this mid-month reading? What does the sign of Scorpio need to know for their highest good? This mid-month reading. A lot of source energy standing your ground. Being closed off here with the four of pentacles to be greed, you know, for in order for you know love to come to you, you gotta release that grip a little bit. Ace of Pentacles. Spirit is trying to get you something, Scorpio, but you're being real stubborn. Six of Swords, moving on to Karma Waters. Bottom of the deck, Two of Wands. So, travel, could be travel. Um, two of Wands also, you know, deciding on which path that you want to take. Are you going to take a spiritual path or are you going to stay stagnant where you are? Are you going to go higher? And ascend to new heights that spirit has for you of you know new heights of understanding of spiritual growth of self-awareness and, and self-mastery are you ready to go on that journey because spirit is ready for you to elevate your higher self is ready for you to grow you know to learn even more to be even greater than you are now but you are stagnant Scorpio time to release your grip on this reality that you have and have faith in your dreams You're limiting yourself. Ace of Pentacles. There's a new opportunity in work or in, you know, stability and security that Spirit is trying to gift you. But... With this uh, four of energy, four of pinnacles energy, you're not able to see the bigger picture. As we have see the bigger picture here, clarifying the ace of pinnacles. Take the leap of faith and go on this journey to ascension. You know, this journey, this spiritual journey, this emotional journey. Um, as luck is on your side. You don't have to be afraid. Don't let your pride get in your way. Don't let your pride get in your way of, a treat, uh, of achieving your dreams and going even higher. So 
get clarity on the Four of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Seven of Cups. So you may have a lot of options available to you and you're confused on which one to choose. Or they could just be confusion. You're confused on how to proceed. And following your goals. Four of Wands. Foundation of Commitment. So you may have a lot of options and Spirit is saying it's time for you to commit to one. Scorpio with the and once you if once you com commit to one, then you are on track to ascending, you know. When you choose that path. You're on track to regenerating, redefining yourself, and growing. The only thing constant in life is change. And there's no change going on to a person that's holding on so tight. You know, that the Four of Pentacles can be the miser card. You're holding on to the past so tight that, you know, new blessings can't come in it's time for you to look at the bigger picture and know that you know there's more to life life has so much more to teach you and to offer you could be um, a relationship here that is trying to come in to bring you balance here with the six of pentacles to give you that equal give and take you may not feel like you're ever going to get that or you don't deserve it or but it's time for you to go within and meditate and get clarity you know to be able to see that bigger picture go in and meditate so spirit can perhaps you, you know send you the downloads of what's to come the blessings the gifts page of wands that spiritual um, message. I'm always open to good news. And so, the Four of Swords, you may receive that good news once you go into meditation. And uh, and with your med within meditation, you focus on this new opportunity, this new gift, this bountiful gift. Of healing here with the six of cups healing your heart you know your dream may have been you know your dream person you know have faith in your that you can achieve your dream you know that you can find that that love of your life that's going to bring you that balance that's going to help you to grow, that you guys can grow together, that you can truly commit to each other and both help each other to heal and to come out of a state of confusion, judgment, answering the call to, to growth and expansion. destined <laughs> as this is faded so this could be you getting your divine masculine and divine feminine energies on one accord because you got work to do in the world you have work to do 
So we have the moon card here coming to uh, coming out to clarify this uh, moving on to calmer waters. Luck is on your side. You don't have to fear the unknown. Luck is on your side. You will be successful. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, you may be used to have, you know, way, the way things are now, but it's time for you to ascend. Things may be fine now. Maybe not, you know, you say if it's not broke, don't fix it, but that keeps you in a stagnant, that's a stagnant state of mind. It's not broke, but it can always use improvement. Life is a continuous learning process, so you should be always trying to get better and improve whatever is in your environment. Don't get, don't become stuck. Ace of Wands. Spirit is trying to gift you with this new ambition of passion fire of growth if you look on the bottom of that card it has growth spirit is trying to grow you so it's time for you to decide and make a decision what path are you going to choose Choose the path of unconditional love. So if there's a person in your life, again, with this thing, the lover card, lovers, lover's card did show up here clarifying the four of pentacles. You're being maybe being closed off in this and feeling like you're you're not able, you know, you won't be able to have this the relationship that you want, this relationship that can balance you equals give and take within the commitment with the world card, regeneration and just this beautiful love story can happen. Don't let your pride get in your way and make you feel like it can't. Like, you know, make you feel feel like you can't believe in a fairy tale. <laughs> we can't have the fairy tale. The spirit is trying to gift it to you. We have the page of pentacles here, you know. The bottom of the card says opportunity. The opportunity is here for you to you know, reach um, self-awareness and self-mastery. This relationship can help bring you to that state. So that you can go out into the world again. You, you have things to do. And people to heal. But to, you can't heal anyone being stagnant or, you know, doing things the same way that you've done them years ago. It's time. We should be evolving, you know, and elevating, you know, and ascending. Tower card. Spirit is... Sound in the trumpet. And it's time for you to answer the call. And put in the work that is needed. To release any anxiety. To release this miser energy. Feeling like you have to hold on to everything that you have. You know. Feeling like they're like abundance doesn't exist. Ab abundance is out there and waiting to to bless you, but you gotta open up. You gotta open up. 
You may have been hurt in the past in relationships. But at some point you have to get over this sadness. At some point you got to stop crying over spilt milk. And take the steps that's needed to heal. Follow your intuition. It would lead you in the direction that you need to go to overcome any confusion and to heal any maybe childhood traumas that may have you in this state of lack and of fear so that you can take over the world, Pinky. But in order to do that, you have to overcome that sadness again, this five of cup energy. Overcome that crying over spilt milk. Overcome this four of pentacles energy of being closed off. And allow creativity to come in. This page of wands, this, you know, spark of spiritual um, ambition and growth. You know, going deeper. Going deeper spiritually again. So that you come up can come up with the strategy that you need to help you overcome any hardship. Because you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> you got a mission here on this earth plane, Scorpio. And you can't let this energy hold you back any longer. You need to have faith in your dreams, have faith in what you came here to do. Don't let pride get in your way. the two of cups here you can have that relationship that feeds and nourish you because when we have that security at home we have that love that support at home there's nothing that can stop us that just makes our outside work even better you know And if it makes things better, that mean you know, that's, those are more ships coming in with the three of wands. But we have to overcome, again, the negative self-talk, maybe the negative opinions of others, and any other illusions that may come along. need to release our grip so that we can allow blessings to come in so if you go ahead and make the choice make the choice to ascend you will stumble into your nine of cups a wish stumble into your wish fulfillment which is balance on the material and physical plane balance within work and love everything that you hold near and dear to your heart and you'll be able to move forward in willpower and determination taking the world by storm Nine of Pentacles, self-awareness and self-mastery. If you accept the path of growth,
and your balance will be restored. You know, this is not balance. You know, that's just holding on. Nothing can come, you know, nothing can really go out or come in. And that type of energy. Ace of Pentacles is your justice. The justice that you receive, you make the decision again to elevate, not to be stagnant anymore. Whatever that means, whether it's in work, whether it's in a relationship. Take that leap of faith. You know what it is that you need to take the leap of faith in, whether it's a relationship or a new um, a new job, a new way of making money. You know, there could be, you could be uh, finding new ways to monetize things online. You know, she has her phone in her hand. Um, you know, could be taking your business and things online. That could be a decision that you need to make as well. You're so used to, you know, working and doing things the old-fashioned way. But it's time to, you know, upgrade things. Upgrade um, your way of doing business. And if you do so, that will bring you the Ace of Pentacles. You know, it says look at the bigger picture. You got to take into account the times and how things are changing. And if you take that leap of faith, then you'll see that it was worth it. And you'll be able to release that anxiety. Cut that shit out because it's no longer serving you. And you'll see the blessing. And just having faith. Trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, and just wanting something new. Challenging yourself to overcome. Ten of Pentacles is what you will receive if you take the initiative and, and just release what is no longer serving you. You know, there's four Pentacles here. Have faith in your dreams. You can, you know, I was saying that you can achieve that relationship or have the relationship that you want because you could be in confusion about you know, a marriage that you're in with the four of ones, a commitment that you've made. And you know, with the world card, and the lovers here, six of pentacles, equal give and take, you know, maybe it's time for you to release a marriage. Is this time for things to ascend?
because of this. I mean, we do have the Six of Swords here moving on. So if this is about leaving a marriage, you know, being blocked off, you, this marriage may be um, stifling you, stifling your creativity. And it's time for you to make a choice and understand that, you know, sometimes you have to let some things go. And so another relationship could, you know, another... I don't see a, any threes on here, so could not, may not be a third party situation, but, you know, going into meditation, seeing this new opportunity, this new passion here, getting a message of a new passion. And healing, reconciling, maybe reconciling the marriage and taking it to the next level. Or it could be destined that it's time for you to walk away from it. Luck is on your side. And maybe, like I said, it's being revealed to you that this commitment is holding you back. And it's time for you to choose the new path with the two of wands and this new path will bring you so much motivation uh, inspiration creativity and things may be chaotic in the moment with the two of pentacles but you can juggle it and never and the outcome will be the ace of cups unconditional love success joy happiness building generational wealth it's all about being strategic though here with the seven of one seven of swords on the bottom of the deck strategy it says I take great care of what I value so do you value your happiness? If you do, make the decision. Don't let pride get in the way. Don't allow other people's opinions to be forced on you. And follow your heart. Do what it is that you need to do, Scorpio. All right, peace.